Hello everyone, today's video is a wear and tear video for my Hermes Bayonne wallet. It is a trifle wallet with black Epsom leather and palladium hardware. I've used this wallet for more than 10 years and I only have one wallet so I've been using it every day for 10 years and on this video I'm going to show you the wear and tear in detail. Also, I put up a post a few weeks ago on Instagram telling my IG friends that I was going to work on the wear and tear video for my Bayonne wallet and I asked if they had any questions for me. I received many many good questions that I'm going to answer on this video. And here's the first question. Is it a heavy wallet? Is it going to be heavy after you stuff your things inside like cash, credit card, maybe some coins? And I think the best way to answer this question is to weigh the wallet. Okay, so let's weigh the wallet with everything in it. I have credit cards in all card slots but I usually don't put coins in, so I excluded coins. Uh, I have some receipts, I have some coupons, and just regular stuff that I keep in my wallet, and it weighs 250 grams. I've just taken everything out of the wallet, and now let's weigh it again. It's 146 grams, so I would say it's not a heavy wallet. Okay, so here's the wallet and the very first where I saw when I first got the wallet was right here where the seal of this strap came off and you will see white stuff on the edges so that I saw mm, around a month or two after using this wallet but it stayed pretty much the same it didn't really worsen and I didn't have it fixed so it was still okay and since we are looking at this strap let's look at the wear and tear you see missing stitching here it doesn't affect the function of the wallet, but you see three layers. Cracking of the seal on the edges. Same thing on the other side. And on this pointy end, the stitching is still there. No big problem here, there's no fold. And of course there are scratches on the hardware, the H, but it's really not noticeable unless you look at it really, really closely. So let's look at the inside of the wallet. Again, because this is a wear and tear video, I'm not going to go through the detail of the wallet. You can go to my review video for that. and. I'm just going to show you the wear and tear in detail. Here on the sides, you see loose stitching here, here, and here. Not as much on this side. I use this side more often because I keep cash in it. So because this part is really flat, also on this side, and when I take things out, I'll pull this part. So stitching here is still fine. No missing stitching because I don't really touch this part. It's mainly the exterior with missing stitching. Okay, so let's look at the zipper. It's still quite stiff. I don't put stuff in. Sometimes I put receipts and stamp cards but I don't put coins in this part. So it's still very flat and nice after 10 years. And if you look at these two big slots, you can see separation here on the leather. This is one and not so much for this one, but then for the, for the bigger slot, This can be fixed. I just didn't want to leave the wallet with them for half a year 
and so that's why I keep using it. The card slots, they're still very tight and I'm gonna put a few cards in so that you can see if anything falls out. Okay, I've put some uh, points cards in um, because I don't want to show my credit cards, um, but then they're the same size, same thickness. So now I'm going to try to shake them and nothing falls out. So um, after using this wallet for 10 years, credit card slots are still very tight. As for the leather, this is Epsom leather. You can still see the grains quite clearly. And here's the back. Overall, it's quite good. The grains are not as clear on the strap. You can see the comparison. As for cleaning, it's super easy for Epsom leather. I use baby wipes because there's no alcohol in them. Okay, say for example, these. I'll just clean it with a circular motion like that and then here this is easy here's another spot right here circular motion it's gone I'm going to do a quick wipe of the whole wallet and uh, see how dirty <laughs> this wallet is. Let's go to the inside. Ooh, can already see brown. I'm not gonna go into the slots because I don't want to stretch them. It's pretty dirty. And that's why I always use black wallets. And now I'm using dry Kleenex just to wipe the whole wallet once. Don't want any part to stay wet for too long. Because it's baby wipe that I used, it's very gentle. As for bringing the wallet back to MS for restitching, I don't really have plans for that yet because I don't want to part with this wallet anytime soon. And if I bring it for restitching, it's gonna take at least six months and I have to pay for the restitching and it doesn't really affect the function of the wallet. And you see like after cleaning the wallet, it looks nice, right? So that's why I wanna show you how I clean it. So I wanna show you a comparison of a relatively new Epsom leather and a 10 year old Epsom leather. This is my Bastia coin purse I bought last year. The grains are obviously more visible on the newer Epsom. But this is not bad, right? So this is how Epsom ages. And this is more matte. I got asked whether or not I could take things out of this wallet using one hand. And the answer is yes. So I'm going to demonstrate it now. I would push this tag out, pull this strap out. And if I need cash, I'll just take it from here. And for close closing, it's also quite easy. I just pull this strap. I usually use my Bastia to hold coins. And uh, I don't put coins here, but just in case you're wondering. And I have some cards here. And it's still all right, but of course it's going to be heavy. Okay, I think this is enough. And I'm gonna close it. It's still quite flat, as you can see. Quite heavy now. And closes with no problem. 
Yeah. So the coin compartment is full now, and the wallet is very heavy. But there's no dollar bill here. Ten. So ten, no problem. Another ten. Just gonna put them in. So here, you see twenty dollar bills. This is the thickness. Still all right. Let me try to close it. Very heavy. Very very heavy. And you can see this side bulging out, and also not not so much on this side because um, the gusset for the coins compartment is on this side, so this part is bulging out more than this side. Another ten. Okay, it's tight. Does it close? Yes, of course, because the strap is really long. It's pretty thick. I never carry so much cash with me, so I never have this problem. As for the leather, I think Epsom is the best leather for a Bayern wallet. First of all, it's easy to clean. You just saw me cleaning the wallet, and secondly, it's not too soft it helps the wallet keep its shape so you can see the shape is still really good the corners are still very very stiff it also has to do with the stitching and the seal but i think the leather helps as well so i think epsom is the best leather for a bn wallet I've mentioned a lot of pros but when it comes to cons i think it's just um dollar bill slot uh, being too thin so if I have more receipts you know sometimes I buy a lot and I have a lot of receipts <laughs> it's really really like stuffed and so the stitching on the two sides come out quite easily other than that I would say it's a really good wallet I don't have any cons any other cons that I can think of so overall I really love this wallet and you can tell how much I love it otherwise I wouldn't have used it for more than 10 years yeah I can very easily use this wallet for 20 years I, I, I don't see a problem with that I may at some point have to bring this back for restitching but that's not a problem. Restitching doesn't cost a lot. It's not as expensive as buying a new MS wallet. It's actually quite rare uh, to find a tri-fold. And in, for the bifold, there are two types. There's one with the bigger like gusset uh, where you can put like one big pile of dollar bills. And there's one that looks exactly the same on this side. Uh, for, for the bifold. So you just have to talk to an SA. One SA has told me, because I asked about the trifolds, like why do I never see trifolds but I always see bifolds? And it has a lot to do with uh, the thin dollar bill slot. Yeah, so that's what she said. So yeah. One IG friend said that uh, someone told her that the cards come out very easily on this side. So let me try this. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> and this strap doesn't slide out because you can see it's still very tight even if it's not full even when i didn't put anything in it it doesn't really just come out so i still need to pull it out so it's not an issue here mm, i think the perfect pouch to hold the BN wallet is a Caro clutch because I have a Caro clutch and this is the only clutch I have to hold this wallet because it fits perfectly you see um, and then there's still space for other things mm, but this is a discontinued uh, this is by the way this is a uh, the Caro GM and there is a PM which is like tiny but this is discontinued so if you want to find one that can hold a Bayern wallet maybe try um, the bleed canvas pouch I'll insert a photo here that's canvas that's not leather and um, I like leather because it's easy to clean 
As for scratches, I think it has to do with the Epsom leather being a very durable leather. You don't really see big scratches. Um, maybe some very, very light ones maybe here. Most of the time I can buff it out. And that's it for my wear and tear video for my MS Bayern wallet. I hope I have answered all your questions. And if you have more questions, please leave your questions in the comment column below and I'll try to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and bye-bye.